Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we've got an update on Deadpool 3 from the director. Five Nights at Freddy's runtime and a whole lot more in today's fix. Let's drop it. Director Sean Levy has spoken on the upcoming Deadpool 3 movie, and with it, we know just how far along filming is for the Marvel Studios movie. Speaking of Deadline, a director said, quote, like the rest of our industry, or at least large swath of it, we're paused. We're halfway through filming Deadpool, co-starring Wolverine. Our crew and the rest of us are awaiting a fair and equitable deal that ends these strikes and puts this industry inclusive of our movie back at work. Now, the director is referring to the ongoing WGA and SAG after strikes that have put countless movies and television shows on pause until a fair deal is met in Hollywood. Now, the strikes have been going on for months now with no clear end in sight. Now, Deadpool 3, however, is still slated to release May 3rd of next year. Now, this will obviously change if an agreement isn't reached soon. Now, as for the DNA of the Deadpool franchise, Levy has assured fans that Deadpool 3 will not change or deviate from what we'd expect despite being the first in the trilogy to release under the Walt Disney banner. Quote, our movie is raw, audacious, very much R-rated, and we went to great lengths to not shoot it on sound stages with digital environments. We wanted something that felt grounded, real. Now that's definitely reassuring to Marvel fans. Now let's just hope they're able to get back to work under fair conditions sometime soon. Now in other news, the Blumhouse horror movie Five Nights at Freddy's has an updated runtime that might shock you. Now, according to the AMC Theaters website, the Blumhouse blockbuster is banking on blowing ticket buyers beyond expectations with a blistering one hour and 50 minute runtime. Now, that's almost as long as the first FNAF game if you mainline it. According to the AMC website, the synopsis reads, quote, the film follows a troubled security guard as he begins working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. While spending his first night on the job, he realizes the night shift at Freddy's won't be so easy to make it through. Now, pretty much exactly what the first game is about, so makes sense it'd be just as long as the game. A long time FNAF fans can look forward to the PG-13 movie hitting theaters and streaming October 27th. And finally, fans of the aquatic superhero Aquaman can rejoice. Warner Brothers has announced that it'll be releasing the first trailer for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom September 14th. Now, this one's been a long time coming, as the last solo movie of the DC hero was back in 2018. Now, along with the announcement, WB released a teaser of what we can expect come September 14th, featuring Aquaman, Black Manta, and a bunch of oversized seahorses and sea monkeys. Y'all remember sea monkeys? All you need is water. Add the sea monkeys eggs, and you're ready for instant life. Now, how the hell did Aquaman get these sea monkeys to human size? I'm not sure what type of powder he's been feeding them, but it's clearly much more potent than what came in those toy sets. And that about does it for today's entertainment fix. I'm Akeem Lawanson. Thank you all so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices. If everything else, stick with IGN.